Hey, it's Cam for Titania, and today we have a benchmark performance test sort of video of the new MacBook Air. This is the 2011 13-inch MacBook Air right there. This MacBook Air is the Core i7 model with the Samsung SSD, I checked, 256 gigabytes, and that's about it. This is a really nice computer. As you can see here, it is very thin. You can see all the ports. On that side, I got the SD card slot. See the bottom. See how thin it is. Open it up again. See the chiclet style keyboard there. Multi touch trackpad. So, without any further ado, let's jump into this honey water. I don't know what I'm talking about. Three, two, one, boom. We're booting it up. I'll put the boot up time at the bottom of your screen so you know how long it takes for this MBA to get rolling. So, we're done. So that's pretty fast, if I do say so myself. And now I will just log in. And we've got some cool StarCraft II wallpapers. As you can see right there, spaces, there's the dashboard. Mission Control, Launchpad, it's all here. So let's start off by doing a Geekbench benchmark. Right there. I'm blind, sorry. I'm, I'm not blind, I don't wear glasses either. Geekbench, so let's put this in the center, zoom in, and we will run a 64-bit benchmark. Three, two, one, and we're off to the races. So we're just running our benchmark now, and we will speed up now. <laughs> And we're done. So as you can see, we got a pretty great score of 6,736. And that is a pretty good score, if I don't say so myself. I'm saying that again. Um, I have gotten up to 6,900 before, which is very impressive. But overall, Geekbench does perform very, very well on the new MacBook Air. And just again, if I show you here, zoom in. This is the 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core i7 MacBook Air with four gigs of DDR3 RAM. So, now we're done Geekbench, we can move on to the SSD or HDD disk space, disk testing space app. It tests space to the max. Here we test space. So we're gonna test the SSD inside this new MacBook Air. It's the Samsung one I have checked, but as you do or should know, this application also tests the ability to go to space, so maybe I'll build myself a rover that goes to Mars later today. It's just, this thing's just booting it through. So we're getting around 246, seven megabits, right, and around 241, about the same for read, so very fast SSD. It is showing why it boots up so fast, and just it's just showing why so why this MacBook Air has been a great performer. So um, there you go. We'll move on now. Close this Black Magic app, and next we can open up iMovie for you guys. I'm not going to be exporting a movie because it takes a very long amount of time. But just for some reference, if you watch my unboxing video, which you can check out right there. That video was edited and rendered on the MacBook Air, and I'll show you it right here. Um, this video took about an hour and a half, I'd say, to export, quite a long time, and iMovie is quite slow. I would like to get Final Cut Pro X, but $300 for an editing piece of software is quite expensive. But Final Cut Pro X is something that I've looked at some videos, and it does look much faster. Yes, so iMovie has performed very well on this new MacBook Air, and now let's finally move on to a mass launch. We will launch a ton of applications now. So, 
We'll be launching all the apps on the computer. I do have a lot of applications I've installed after the fact that will make this slower than a stock boot, such as uh, Pixelmator. I've got Angry Birds on here. I've got a couple different other games. I'm not going to be doing StarCraft 2 because that would just crush it at the same time. But let's do it in three, two, one. Get that zoomed in. Boom. And you can see that dock just exploding at the bottom there. And it's, it's, it's an explosive dock. It truly is very full of C4. <clears throat> So it's just got that speech is enabled. So it's still opening up. It's going pretty fast. It's just opening up lots of stuff. I think we're almost done. There is Skype just opened up. And I think we're all done now. I think these two things what Oh, maybe that was just iMovie there. Okay. Let's see if we can do a mission control other way. Boom. There's mission control. It is quite unresponsive, but that is fair because there's a lot of apps running, so I'm not going to rat on it. Oh, wait. Oh, we're getting a call. Let's answer it. It's Ryan from Flizzles. Subscribe for cookies. Um... Okay, hello Ryan. It is uh yeah. So, um Ryan just called me. You can check out his channel by clicking on that big F. The F right there. So, that's been that's been Cam for Tactania doing a quick benchmark and performance test of the new 2011 MacBook Air. Ryan wants you to subscribe for cookies and I think that's completely fair. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cam, see you later. Cookies.